Welcome back guys. This is the first video of the new year. Um, I'll be showing you how I put together this breakfast nook in the kitchen. There's like this cutout in there. Um, kind of wanted some benches and soon we'll be making a kitchen table to fit with the benches. So this is a quick little video of how I did everything. I'm going to try not to talk your ear off, but I hope you guys enjoy this. I chose to build this frame piece by piece, one, because I didn't take the baseboards off, probably should have, but um, I didn't, and because the floor isn't level, so if I built a solid box, it just wouldn't have lined up in here. So I had to cut every piece and put it all together one by one. I ended up running out of wood and had to go to the store, grab about three or four more two by fours to get everything together. I also forgot to unlock the doors. After building the frame, I wanted some pieces that you know went horizontally on the top and the bottom, just to make sure make sure it's structurally sound. You know, you don't want to just have the the pieces there, the vertical pieces, and it be able to move you know side to side. So that's what these are for. Um, and then I also drew, drilled a lot of pocket holes. I know some people hate on pocket hole digs, but I, don't know, I can't complain. I love the thing. I pre-measured where the, I guess you call it a junction box, I'm not really sure what it's called, but the piece of the box, the outlet, goes into, you know, just to the side of the 2x4. I measured how high those were so that I could come out here and cut a hole for the outlet cover so that once everything was together, you know, it all lined up, the cover went on smooth, and then, you know, it was all functional. next day I was outside cutting some more of these pieces to go on the inside and I got a little too comfortable on the table saw and I had a pretty bad kickback. Thankfully though it just hit me in the leg and this wasn't like a big piece of wood. This is only a quarter inch. This is going to be going on the inside to you know make like different sections. So I did have that kickback. Caught me off guard. Uh, I won't get too comfortable again. The outlets whenever I do them I don't really want to get too far into the electrical stuff but I did make sure all the power was off um, took the, the outlets out and then the new ones it's super simple you know they got two uh, black ones on one side two white ones on the other side two screws and a giant screw you literally just it's kind of like a plug and play uh, you take the wires wrap them around the designated hook for the wire and whenever you get the Romex it comes three wires one's black white and you have your ground bare copper wire so it's not it's pretty easy and I think you can really mess this up so I don't want to get too far on the electrical stuff but this is how I wired it up I cut back the protective coating on it exposed the bare wires for each of the two the white wire and the black wire I crimped the 
will bend them over into a U shape because on the new receptacle and the ones that are installed in your house, they have the screws and that's how they're held on. So the hook that I'm making is so they can go over each screw like you like I showed you there. So this is your ground wire at the very bottom. You have a white and a black wire that can go on. And the way I spliced into the old one is exactly the same. It had two screws on each side. So I was able to use one of the screws that wasn't being used and just ran it up here to this one. I've only dealt with electrical a little bit before, which is why I said I didn't want to get too far into this, but it's kind of simple. Uh, you just have to pay attention to make sure the power is off. Once all the outlets were installed, I started cutting all those pieces that uh, hit me in the leg the other day. Started cutting all those, getting the face on. Once the face is on, then we'll start putting the trim pieces on. That'll cover up all the imperfections and gaps and all that. So had to measure the angles for those, but in the end, it all came out pretty good. So here's a nice little montage. Of I knew the triangle pieces were going to be a little bit of a challenge, but to make them as easy as possible, just cut up some cardboard, lay it in there, tape it together like I'm doing here, and that'll give you exactly what you need. I started off measuring, you know, my angles in the corner, trying to figure out how, you know, how much of an angle I needed and all that. But after about 10 minutes, I realized it was just, it wasn't working. So the cardboard worked out fine. And I was able to get the template laid out, took it outside, laid it exactly where I needed it on the piece of wood, and just cut it. And this took me maybe 10 minutes. There was no guessing. When I came back inside, I didn't have to worry about if it was going to fit in here or not. So there was, I believe there's four triangles in this whole thing. And I did all of them exactly the same. Laid the pieces of wood where I needed them. Got the triangle templates made and just cut the wood. I'm sure somebody out there watching this right now is saying, you know, how much easier it would have been just to make take a couple measurements, you know, draw a template out. But I'm a mechanic by day and a woodworker by night, which means I don't know how to do all that. So I improvise pretty good at that. And uh, it got the job done. <laughs>
this is what we ended up with in the end. Um, you can see we painted everything black. It still needs a coat of paint. Some stuff does. We kind of painted this whenever we had time. I do wish I had replaced these outlets with the uh, GFI ones. Um, and then on the inside, I should have cut the the wire to you know move the outlet out away from the wall. Wish I had cut that a little bit longer so I could kind of hide it better. Um, but I will staple that in place. And the hinges, I wish I had recessed them. The, the, the hinges make it stick up about a quarter of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch in the back. But overall, I'm not mad at it. And all these, all the square pieces open. The triangle pieces, you know, obviously don't open. But all the square pieces open, so we have extra storage now inside here. And I'm pretty excited about it. I've been walking across the top of these. My kids are running across the top of them. So it's definitely sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And I think it's a lot better than what we had before. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of the video. Soon I'll be posting and building uh, the kitchen table for the benches. Um, but if you guys think I deserved it, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.